The city of Albuquerque shelled out nearly $2 million in the first three months of this year to settle lawsuits against the city. Tonight, a look at some of the biggest cases in the latest report and how much the city agreed to pay. A night of fun at the biopark takes a turn. When a guest takes a ride in the spinning bird's nest at the Beastly Bash in 2016. An adults-only event where alcohol was served, Maureen Healy claims that staff encouraged her to get on the carousel, even though the ride was geared toward children, and signs warned against riding while intoxicated. Healy's attorney, when the suit was filed in 2018. She had a huge gash to her head, um, which required uh, a considerable amount of stitches. Um, she's had memory loss. She's had a, a lapse in concentration. The city settled with Healy for $60,000. The highest payout in the quarterly report, $450,000 to the family of Richard Garcia, who was hit and killed by a city bus in 2019. According to the suit, the driver could see Garcia stepping into the street on San Mateo, but did not slow down. The city also settled a handful of crashes involving city vehicles, including $180,000 to a woman who was rear-ended by an APD unit at Juan Tabo in Central, and $41,000 to a woman who was sideswiped by a street sweeper. City employees also received payouts for discrimination and whistleblower suits. One was APD Lieutenant David Jaramillo, who in 2020 was put in charge of sanitizing a building where there had been a COVID outbreak. Jaramillo, who has severe asthma, says when he pushed for proper protection to do the job, he was suspended for insubordination and retaliated against when he returned. Jaramillo's settlement from the city? $300,000. Some of the other settlements were for trip and fall cases on city property, crashes caused by poor road conditions, and disputes over public records requests.